What have you seen from Tim, Patrick, and Cortland in your, in your exposure to them now for a couple months? Uh, both of those guys are kind of like the glue, you know, in the room. Um, you know, they, they provide, uh, you know, size and, 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 and just toughness on the outside. And, and um, you know, they move around. They move well for big dudes, you know what I mean? I think a lot of times, you know, when you see receivers and, and the size, you see a big guy, you just think he's just kind of, you know, lumbering, moving slow. But these guys can actually run routes and, and bend and drop their weight and, and they're, they're strong at the point of attack and catching the football and stuff like that. So um, I've been uh, impressed and, and uh, enjoyed watching them practice and compete the last you know few weeks. I don't know how much you know of Hamler's backstory, but the hip, the knee, and then mm -hmm. the pack this offseason. What is his mindset like? Obviously, he knows it's kind of a crossroads season for him. Mm -hmm. He needs to stay healthy. What have you seen from his mindset? Well, he just told me after the field, he told all of us. You know, he actually broke down the receiver group today. You know, and he said he, you know, he's a pit bull. Today was the first day he kind of he was out there and and, and and he went in through practice a little bit more. But you know, he's a he's a he's a pit bull. He's a dog. You know what I mean? He's gone through some stuff, but. Um, at the end of the day, you know, he, he attacks everything the same way, you know, whether it's an injury, whether it's a practice, whether it's a meeting, he's taking notes, uh, he's asking questions, you know, he, he's, he's finishing, you know, he's trying to, he's trying to compete and, and, and contribute and, and do all the, you know, do all the little things. So um, he has the perfect mindset for anybody that's, you know, experiencing, you know, uh, injury or comeback and stuff like that. I mean, he, he he's attacking it. And that's the best way I can explain. Can you just give us a sense for after 11 practices, your approach and how you wanted to tweak the approach that this receiving room has? Uh, I wouldn't say that. I mean, I I think we've we've tried to establish um, you know our identity as an offense and as a team, and and come out and compete and work hard and finish and do all the little things. You know. Um, and be about our fundamentals. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, we want to control what we can control, which is our, our attitude and our effort. And we, we come out and when we're in between the lines, you know, we're going, we're going to run the plays that are called. We're going to try to execute them to the best of our ability. We're going to try to finish to the ball. We're going to try to get a block. We're going to try to, you know, spring a block. We're going to try to make a play, run after the catch. So whatever it is, like our job is just to execute uh, whatever. You know, it's not about tweaking. I just think it's about, again, it's the culture. It's what Coach Payton has set out. Uh, you know, how we're going to practice, how we're going to prepare. And I think that's what these last few weeks uh, have been for us, you know, being a new staff and a new, you know, uh, new program, uh, so to speak. And, and uh, I think everybody's done a great job of kind of learning kind of how to, how to practice and how to work together.